Good morning guys. So we just finished breakfast and we are still eating our our what our watermelon here with my little son. And Mustafa is here with me doing his thing. Mustafa, can you say hi? Can you say hello? Good boy. You are saying hello. Hello, Papa. Papa Nadi said. Are you talking with the daddy? <coughs> daddy is not here. He went to work. So, guys, uh, today we are here, and as we are eating, we normally talk. So, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about something. If you don't know me, my name is Phoebe. I'm a Kenyan married in Turkey and stay in the city called Izmir. And I love talking about these um, two countries, either Kenya or Turkey, and also some of the few countries that I've traveled to. So I make content about it. And also I make content about beauty, fashion, and all those good things, you know. So today, we want to talk about something that most people are actually uh, talking about or some people normally ask me. I'm going to tell you some misconceptions about getting married to a white person. Allow me to use the word white person because it is the, 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 the word that is known. Just the same like we are referred to as black Africa or a black people and we are African. So I'm going to use uh, this word not to criticize someone or not to make it uh, like something bad, but it is what it is. We normally, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it is a problem being called a black. If I'm called, uh, if someone referred to me as black person, uh, it means that he is identifying me with my origin. So I'm an African girl and um, there is nothing bad. Maybe if, uh, if you tell me it is bad, uh, allow me to use this word because it is the word that is known, black and white person. So today's video, I'm going to tell you some of the misconceptions about getting married to a white person if you are an African, okay? Mm -hmm. By the end of this video, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what people think and what is reality or I'm going to tell you some of the things that I know they are truth and uh, they are not lies as people normally say especially when you are coming from africa you will hear a lot of stuff so today i'm gonna tell you things that i know okay so stay tuned up to the end of this video all right <music> Actually, I'm not making, I'm just going to style it a little bit. It is natural hair as you can see. So, for instance, you are a lady, you are getting married to a white person, be it from Europe, from Asia, from wherever it is. Uh, then, most people think that when you are a lady, you are getting married to a white person, you are doing it for money. Like you are a gold digger. But, that's not the truth. When a lady loves, loves for real. For instance, for me, when I love you, I love you for real. I'll tell you openly, I love you and I want to show it. And also I want to introduce you to the world and tell you, you are my king. So those who have dated me, they know <laughs> I'm a real person. When I love you, I want to show it off. I want to tell everybody that you are mine. Of course, my current uh, husband is a Turkish. That's why you see me talking about why about this interracial uh, relationship and the contents that there. So, we are not doing it for money, to clear. We are doing it because we love these guys. All right? So, as you can see, Mustafa just woke up and he is crying. Mustafa, can you say hi, Papa? 
getting married to a white person if you're an african doesn't mean that it is a direct ticket to wealth or it doesn't mean that you will have automatically you will be rich no that doesn't work like that it takes journey and you have to look for ways to generate your income your money and if your partner happens to be rich it doesn't mean that he will automatically give you the money or he will automatically pour money on you and you will be rich it doesn't work like that you have to earn that person's um, trust you have to earn that person's respect it takes a lot of time and a lot of things should happen for you to be rich it doesn't just happen overnight so getting a white man doesn't mean that you will be automatically rich are we together so another thing that people or another perspective that people normally think it is that all white people they are racist no 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 i have to tell you some of the connections that i have or maybe most of my friends they are white and all of them they have never shown me something or they have never done something to me that i'll feel like inferior like um of course they know i'm african and i'm so proud to be dark and lovely and they always appreciate it and uh, they have not done anything that i will say that uh it is uh an action of uh, racism or something of that sort even here in turkey i've not received or i have not seen a lot of people looking at me like something else or someone else they just uh, look at you as a normal person and uh, of course they wonder how or why an african is here but doesn't mean that they are looking at you in a way of criticizing you or making trouble to you know no 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 of course i understand there is there is racism in other parts especially in europe i understand and there are so many concerns about this stuff and i don't like talking about it because um, it is just a broad topic that needs a lot of time but that doesn't mean all whites they are racist no 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 it doesn't mean like that huh another thing if you're an african getting married to a white person uh, most people they think that you are doing it for sex and uh, you'll find that most even your friends will start questioning you how is he in bed how is he <laughs> what does he like how does it like they they, they, that, they just think that white people they are into sex stuff they are into bad sex stuff but that doesn't mean like that but that is not the reality the reality is that when you are in a relationship with your man of course you have your intimate time uh you have to understand each other of course who doesn't like sex i love it <laughs> so <laughs> It doesn't mean that you are selling your body or you are doing some stuff of sex like stuff like that no if it is a genuine relationship go ahead have that man keep him give him whatever he wants and just build a family who doesn't want a beautiful family with some fun huh it doesn't mean that all white people they just uh, love sex or they're into sex that doesn't mean like that it is lie and you have to get your facts right okay i'm keeping an eye on my baby because he's crawling and he wants to take everything another thing about getting married to a white person if you're an african uh, most people they think that when you get married to a white person it is a contract like you are doing it for a contract like the white person will not love you for real that like it is just um on his tips of the finger whenever he wants to quit he will call it a quit no uh, i have to say marriage is sacred and um everybody is different and also most people or maybe all every every person in the world wishes to to be uh to have a beautiful family to build a beautiful family nobody goes into marriage with an intention of getting divorced or just separating no and um it is not a contract you cannot sign a contract like i want to get married today and tomorrow i'll be leaving you that i've not seen it maybe if it does it, it happens but for me it's not a contract and so mustafa is really making trouble on me another thing about getting married if you are 
an African to a white person, it is the uh, most people they think or uh, maybe in most cases Africans they think that when we we ladies I'm talking about ladies when we ladies decide to get married to white people they think that we hate African men but that doesn't mean like that we love and we appreciate our African men and they are the perfect and they are the, 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 this cute and they have this uh, I don't know how to explain, but I just think African men, they are amazing in everything with this energy, uh, they are romantic and they are everything, just like the white people. And we do not say or we do not say that we don't love them. We love them, but when a relationship isn't working well, then you have to call it a quit. There is no need of you sitting there hurting each other, making trouble to each other when the relationship doesn't work. You cannot see, oh, my son doesn't want, want us to talk. You cannot be in a wrong uh, relationship and then you expect it not, uh, you expect everything just to be fine and see. No, you have to call it a bit. And if it happens that it happened with an African man, that doesn't mean that we don't love our boys we love our men of course we love our african men and we really appreciate them my baby daddy oh, not my baby daddy uh my first marriage uh happened to be with an african and i really really appreciate him for being the best father the best dad the best husband uh during our time and if things didn't work together well that doesn't mean that i didn't love him of course i love him and he knows um, but things did not go away well. that's why i cannot speak much about it otherwise we love you guys if you are an african man and you are watching just know that we really love you guys uh we cannot say like we don't love you that's why we are going for uh white people no uh, another factor or uh, another assumption uh another misconception about getting married to a white person it is that um some people go into marriage or uh, tend to marry white people because they think that you have these cute babies you have these babies with a uh, good tone like uh, beautiful stuff like that but the truth is when you're yeah. pregnant you do not know the color or you do not know how the baby will come out so if you're going into marriage just you are marrying a white person just for babies that that's not right it is bad manners and i believe all babies are cute you see what mustafa is doing to me he's so mischievous uh all babies are cute and i think um, they come out with different colors, with different um, characters, and with different stuff. And I just believe all babies are cute. Black, white, whichever color the baby comes out, all babies are smart and they are beautiful. Now, because Mustafa doesn't give us time to speak and uh, he is actually crying and he doesn't want to listen to anything i'm gonna end the video but i have to say if you are in an interracial marriage like or relationship you are dating uh, you're an african dating a uh, white person you should not bother or you should not consider what people say just work on your relationship do what is right on your relationship and everything gonna be fine Another thing that I found interesting or I found so weird when people say, uh, people normally think that when you get married to a white person, you are into, uh, you have, uh, you you do it like for green cards, uh, not not even green card for resident permits, or you want to be in a foreign country. That's why you are marrying this person. But in reality, we don't do that or that that's not the truth maybe for someone else but you cannot just go into a relationship because you want to be in a foreign country no it doesn't work like that and i feel like that is not good and uh, actually if you're getting married to a foreign person uh, it means that you'll be staying there so you have to legalize everything that's the issue the truth about it you cannot stay in a foreign country without legalizing your relationship or your permit so it is what it is and that is the truth that I know. 
otherwise because my son here doesn't give us a break i'm gonna end the video i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you are thinking dating other races please go ahead because we want to make sure that the world is full of love the world is full of good people the world is full of mixtures we want to mix and match i want to say this in somewhere uh, we want to mix and match we want to appreciate each and every person in the world whichever race you are in from just go ahead go in that relationship knowing that it's gonna be all right and work each and every day to improve it if your life or if you are in a relationship with a white person or with another person who is not the same race as yours and things are not working or you do not have what you desire in life go ahead build income find ways to generate money or income and eventually you'll be there you'll be rich don't compare your life with another person okay otherwise i love you and i have to end the video because this boy is too much stubborn today otherwise i wish you all the best i'll see you next bye bye